A circle is circumscribed about a hexagon with side length 8. What is the area of the region inside the circle but outside the hexagon? So what ends up happening is, and, and it actually circumscribed polygons are easy to draw because you just draw the circle first. Uh, do a little better job than that. And um, then mark uh, the, the vertices you need. And so in a hexagon, you need six. So you just equally mark six points. And then you just connect those marks, and that gives you a, hex a pretty good regular hexagon with a um, circle some circumscribed about it. And so this says, what's the region inside the circle but outside the hexagon? So basically, it wants to know what are the, these six regions combined. Well, the nice thing about a hexagon is the radius of the hexagon is equal to the radius of the circle circumscribed circle. That's a definition of all regular polygons. But what makes a hexagon different is the radius uh, of a hexagon because this is a 60 degree angle because there's six of the, those little triangles inside the, tri the circle. Um, it means that each of these little triangles is an equilateral triangle. So if our side length is eight, our radius is eight. So if the radius is eight, the area of the circle then is pi r squared which would be pi 8 squared, which equals 64 pi. So now we know the area of the circle is 64 pi. So all we have to do to get the area outside the hexagon but inside the circle is subtract away the hexagon. Well, area of a hexagon, the formula is side squared root 3 over 4 to find the area of one of these equilateral triangles. That's a nice formula about equilateral triangles, side squared root 3 over 4. And then there are six of them, like I mentioned, so you just multiply by six. And so really, the formula is 3 side squared root 3 over 2. So we do 3 times side squared, which is 8. So that's going to be 64 root 3 over 2. That cancels to 32, so you end up with 96 root 3 is the area of the hexagon. So the area of our shaded region just is 64 pi minus 96 root 3. That gives you the area of the outside the circle inside the hexagon. Uh, some problems that occasionally will come up is, what if you only want some of these regions and not all of them? Well, then what you can do is just multiply this by what, per, what fraction out of six uh, of those pieces of shaded do you need? Those segments is what we refer to them as do you need. So the correct answer is 64 pi minus 96 root 3.